Hello, welcome to another edition of Family Game Night here on Fridays, where we take this online Bible quiz, we take them together, and we see who answers the most questions correctly. And you guys are on a great streak, so let's see if I can keep up with you guys. So, all right, so we have an, a new subject. Every week it's a new subject of questions, and this week it is prodigals. Hmm, prodigals. And yeah, there's quite a few prodigals, I think, right, in the Bible. And there's quite a few prodigals living today. So, you probably know one, or you may be one. You know what? God is full of grace, forgiveness, and love. So let's try to let's try to keep going on this here. All right, prodigals. Question number one. After Cain murdered his brother, he went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, Canaan, Egypt, or Ethiopia. Now I, I I'm already leaning towards Nod, simply because it sounds like a early Genesis. Early Genesis um, name, but so is Canaan. I don't know if Egypt is, and I don't think Ethiopia is. So I'm going to go with Nod. Do we have the Nod? A Nod? I think so. All right. Question number two. Let me uh kind of edit this a little bit so that it'll be. Back to you guys. Question number two. After Jacob tricked his father Isaac into giving him his brother's blessing, he went to stay with his older brother, his sister, his uncle, or his strangers. Jacob tricked his father Isaac. He went to stay with of course, it's Jacob and Esau. I think his older brother, right? I think so. His sister? I don't remember. He probably had a sister, but I just don't remember that part of the story. His uncle? I don't think so. Strangers? It may be part of the story, but I think it's his older brother Esau. Interesting, they did put his name. Question number three. What did King Saul first do that was disobedient to God's commandments? Tried to kill David, offered a burnt offering and peace offerings, built an altar to Baal, falsely prophesied. I think it's either two or three. I think it happened early on. My first thought is offer a burnt offering and peace offering because there's a certain timing to that. Falsely prophesied is another option. I'm going to go this offer a burnt offering. <laughs> Question number four Who abandoned God's laws in order to please the Israelites? In the desert, Moses, Aaron, Jethro, Miriam. Please the Israelites in the desert. Aaron? Aaron? Right? Aaron. Okay. It's a lot of... Old Testament particles. Who prevented Balaam from ignoring God and going with the princes of Moab? Angel of the Lord, Michael, Gabriel, Gabriel, or Balak? I'm thinking Balaam and Balak. Angel of the Lord. Why should be Balak? Okay. I'm just going to go through these now. 
Where did Jonah go instead of Nineveh, as God commanded? Jericho, Jerusalem, Joppa, Jezreel. Joppa? Joppa? I don't know why that stuck out to me, Joppa. Question number seven. What did God do to Miriam when she challenged Moses? Swallowed her up in the earth? Made her leprous, struck her dead, consume her with fire? I don't know. I really don't know this part of the story. Made her leprous. And everything else seems to be very deadly. So, leprous. Question number eight. What did Aaron's sons do that brought God's wrath upon them? Committed adultery, snuck into the Holy of Holies, offered profane fire before the Lord, fall, prophesied falsely. Say that five, five times. Prophesied falsely, prophesied falsely, prophesied falsely. Okay. Um, I don't remember this part of the story either. But I think snuck into the Holy of Holies, right? Because Aaron wasn't in the line of priests. Well, he was the first in the line of priests. Question number nine. What happened that made the prodigal son want to return home? He spent all his money. The land was in famine. He had no food to eat. All of the above. All right. Our first New Testament prodigal. Of course, it's the prodigal son parable. And it's all of the above. Correct? Think so. Question number 10. What turned Solomon's heart away from God? His wife turned his heart to other gods. He became greedy for more wealth. God refused to heal him of an illness. God allowed his son to die. I believe that that's his many wives. Turned his heart. Okay. Let's submit. And let's find out. No, no. Let me just see what we got here see what we got here oh pretty good better than last week better than last week better than last week here we go so 40 out of 50 yes 8 out of 10 cool deal so i did pretty good you guys probably did pretty well as well nod we got the nod for nod. So that was right. Yeah, I think I was, I was really feeling good about that one. Next one is, oh, after Jacob tricked his father, he didn't stay with his older brother. Ooh, his uncle. His uncle. I thought I got that one right, too. Hmm. Question number three. What did King Saul first do? Offered burnt offering. Okay. My recollection of these Bible stories are improving. Who, amend, who abandoned God's laws? Aaron. Yeah. Cool. Who prevented Balaam? Yes, the angel of the Lord. See? Cool deal. So I got most of these right. Which one did I get wrong? Jonah went to Joppa. Jonah to Joppa. Ah, what did God do to Miriam? Ah, see? Made her leprous. And that was a pretty educated educated guess in that it was not a deadly. Here it is. What did Aaron's sons do? Did not sneak in the Holy of Holies, but offered profane fire before the Lord. Come to think of it, that would make sense. And then, of course, I got the last two right. What happened? What happened? What happened to this? What happened that made the prodigal son want to return home? All of the above. And then I have to physically move these windows. That's why I'm here. What turned Solomon's heart away from God? His wives. All right, congratulations. If I got 8 out of 10, you probably got 10 out of 10. So congratulations. Uh, another fun, fun subject. Uh, and then a good reminder of God's love and and, and uh, forgiveness and you know we can do so many so many bad things 
but God in his gracious love uh, provides a way for us. So, it's a pretty good quiz this week. Not only answering well, but it was a good good reminder, good lesson to this quiz. Huh. All right. Well, in that case, until next week, read your Bible, uh, worship, and of course, pray. And remember this, God loves you, and so do we.